Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at an example on bed elevation in open channel flow. So here's our example. Uh, this drawing is clearly not to scale, but we've got a delta Z here of 2 centimeters and a Y1 of 1 meter. We've got exactly the same setup as the previous video. Um, I'm not going to introduce any new formulas. We're pretty much covered on that front for the rest of the topic. Now we've been asked to find Y2. In order to do so, as we've seen before, we're going to have to use Y1 to find E1, then use delta Z to find E2, which will enable, enable us to find Y2. In this process, we need to determine which branch of the specific energy curve we'll be using. So let's try to figure that out first. Um, to find the fruit number of the flow, we use the equation FR equals V on square root GY. Uh, in this case, we have V1, which we need to get from Q, and Y1, which we were given as 1 meter. So for the bottom of that equation, we have 1 meter for Y1. Uh, we know that Q equals V times area. Area is B times Y, which is 3 meters cubed per second. Solving for V, we get V1 equal to 3 divided by 2 times 1 which is 1.5 meters per second. So subbing our values for V1 and Y1 into the fruit number equation, we get FR equals 1.5 on square root 9.81 times 1, which gives us an FR equal to 0.479, and clearly that's less than 1. And since we, it's less than 1, we know it's a subcritical flow, which is the top branch of the specific energy curve. So in our specific energy curve, we're considering this top branch, we get rid of our supercritical flow um, lines, and we're just considering these top, two top points. Now we need to find E1 using Y1, and we need to use the specific energy equation we've seen before to do this, and the specific energy equation is E1 equal to y1 plus q squared on 2gy1 squared. We were given y1 equal to 1 meter, so we need to resolve uh, little q from capital Q. So our uh, flow rate per meter width is going to be q on b, uh, which is 3 divided by 2. Uh, so our width of the flow was 2 meters, we said, and that's 1.5 meters cubed per second per meter. Um, subbing all that in, we get E1 equal to 1 plus 1.5 squared 